everyone, so I'm back with another haul. This one is fashion to figure, swimsuits for all, and boohoo, and I know everyone loves a boohoo haul. Hit like on this video when you see my upper lip start to sweat, because it is 80 degrees and I had to turn the air off to film. Anyways, let's get started. So in a recent haul, I talked about how I wanted like a concert shirt dress, you know, with like cutouts and cool stuff on it. And a couple of you um, recommended Boohoo, and I know Amina especially recommended Boohoo, so thank you. So they had a wealth of these dress shirt things. It was hard to pick. I narrowed it down to two actually. Um, so this is the first one I got. So it is purple and blue tie-dye. It has the lattice up here, and then, you know, it's a t-shirt dress. So what I didn't see in the pictures online was that this has a lot more cutouts, which I actually really like. Like, part of me was like, oh, I'm gonna look like a hobo, and people are gonna be like, there's a hole in your shirt. But these actually look really good, so there's some up on the shoulder. There's one down at the bottom of the dress here. Um, I see like celebrities wearing shirts like that and it does look really cool but you know if you wore it you would just look like a big slob but these actually look you know okay when they're on. So I'm not the biggest fan, where is it, of skulls but this one's like there's so much going on on here that I, I was like eh I don't really notice it um, but I'm a huge fan of tie-dye so the um, a lot of the other shirts on there were black but I was like this one is so cool though. So this is a US 16. I was kind of iffy about what size to get because I knew I wanted it to look flowy and oversized. And I worried if I got the 14, it would kind of cling to weird places. You never know, you know? Um, and that kind of just ruins the effect that you want. Um, but then this ended up being a little too big. Um, kind of looks, I did a Inside the Dressing with Charlotte Russe and I tried on something similar. Kind of sackish, kind of pajama-ish. So it's kind of like swallowing me. So let me know if you have any like ideas of how to make it just kind of like, I don't know, look better. It does give the effect I want. I wish it was a little shorter, but that can be, you know, hemmed or whatever. Have you clicked like yet? I'm starting to sweat. Okay, so I got another concert dress. Um, also on a note, I think it's kind of funny, like neither of these are actual bands or festivals. Like first of all, I don't know what's cool because like I would have made like a Jonas Brothers concert shirt dress. Um, and then from like the 70s, like I like like Fleetwood Mac and stuff, but so I didn't know what was cool and stuff. And you don't want to look like a poser, you know, so I guess it's good that these aren't real bands. Here's another fake concert shirt. So this one's more simple. Um, I was between this and a galaxy print one, but I like that this was just a little bit more simple. So instead of the lace up on that one, this one just has um, kind of like a choker cutout. So up here and then a little V-cut down the front. And then this one, it's like, I think the effect is like two shirts meeting, you know, like if you sewed two shirts into one, cause it's like right in half, it's like two different designs. Um, again, this one's just like a little too big. This one is also a US 16. Um, so, and a little too long. And with those, I feel like if you style them with really cool boots, you just complete the look. So it'll look better once it's styled. Okay, this one is so nice. I'm so happy that I found it. So this one is perfect for spring. So it's a ruffle, cold shoulder, long maxi dress. And it has this really, really nice floral print. So this is a lot thicker than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like more chiffon, but this is like um, a lined dress and just more thick material. So that's good. It's not gonna be see-through or anything. So it's really well constructed. Um, this has a zipper in the back. This again, I also got in a 16, so I think this fits perfectly. I always get a little worried with zipper things because I'm like, is it gonna go? Because there's not a lot of give in this, but um, the 16 worked for me. My only problem with this, it's a little, I think the lengthwise, it's just a little weird. It hits me like mm, a little bit above my ankle. Like it's not like a full on maxi. So it hits me a little bit above my ankle. It reminds me in that weird owl video, Amish Paradise. No one knows what I'm talking about. Um, the sexy thing to do when you're Amish is show some ankle and it's like that exact length. Like, so I was like, oh, if I want to turn on an Amish guy, like I'll just wear this dress. Okay, finally from Boohoo, I got these shorts. So I just thought this was cute, like a nice little summer item, you know, nice little lightweight shorts. So these have some stretch to them. I want to say this is a, yeah, these are a 14. So um, they fit me pretty well. They're good till I just pair with a black tank top or a white tank top. So these are just really easy to throw on in the summer when you don't want to wear pants but still want to look cute. 
So that's everything I got from Boohoo. I already like, I bought that and then I filled my cart again and I kind of do that like I'll window shop and then buy a few things at once, but I'm literally already up to like $800 there. So expect one probably in the future. Like I can't be stopped there. Okay, so next is swimsuits for all and literally every fat girl on the internet has this bathing suit, but it's so cute. So this one is the Gabby Fresh one piece. So when Gabby Fresh came out with like the fat kini, like I think it was three, maybe four years ago, I wanted one so bad and I was still too cheap back then. But I've seen, you know, her collections come out over the years and I'm always so impressed and everyone says they're really great quality. So this year I was, I saw this one and it looks so good on everyone. Like I said, literally every fat girl has this and there's so many different kinds of plus size body shape and it looked good on everyone. So plus I love this color, so I had to have it and I ended up like, Swimsuits for All is really good with uh, deals. I felt like an extreme couponer. I got this for $40. I think it goes for $100, and I got this for $40. So this one is this maroon. Then it has mesh, so it kind of looks like a bikini, but there's attachments, so right in the front you'll be attached. This has detachable um, straps, but I'm gonna keep them on. That will not stay up on me. Um, and it also has underwire, so it's gonna be, give like a nice lift and stuff, so I'm just so happy I got this. I also wanted a few one pieces. Speaking of one pieces, um, Fashion Figure just came out with a swim line, so I picked this one up. So it's a pretty basic black one piece, but it has really cool studding, you know, up here and then under the bust. And then it has that cage part, which I love. That looks so good on swimsuits. And then there's this big open back and the clasp. And these also have adjustable straps. There's also studding along the thighs. So it really like jazzes it up like a plain black swimsuit. So there's no underwire in this, so that's kind of good. I know some people do like underwire and some people don't. So this gives you an option of if you just want to, you know, be a little bit more comfy. So this is another really good addition. I already have a black one piece from Adore Me. So this one is just a little bit more sexy. I feel awkward saying sexy, but it's a little bit more sexy. <sighs> the sweatiest girl in the world. Okay, this one is so pretty. Again, I'm just trying to wear more bright colors. You know, it's spring, summer, lighten it up. So this is a really, really pretty watercolored kind of print dress. It's a maxi, really breathable, stretchy fabric, and it also has the cold shoulder details. I think this is really perfect for like graduation season, wedding season. So it's really, really pretty. It's eye grabbing without being too in your face and the colors just blend into each other so well. This really, really caught my eye. So this one does have a zipper in the back, but also has, like I said, more giving fabric. So I wouldn't be too worried about this. I got this in a size one, which is like a 14, 16. It also has some gathering below the bust. So that has a really nice, is it umpire or empire? I say empire, but I've heard people say umpire, whatever. Um, empire waist, which gives a really, really nice flowy effect. So this is gorgeous. I'm so happy about this. All right, this next one is a little out of my comfort zone, but I saw some girls wearing it on Instagram. I'm like, they look dope, so I wanna try it. So this is one of my first jumpsuits. I think I've tried one in the past. Again, kind of like the romper thing. I didn't know if the seam would feel right, fit right, um, but this actually fits pretty well. So it's just like a pinstripe black and white. The thing I really love about this, under the bust, so there's a knot at the boobs, but then there's like a little peekaboo like under here, which is so different, but you still feel covered. So um, I thought that was really cool. This also has a zipper, but more giving fabric, so don't be too worried about that. Um, I will warn you, I tried this on with black underwear and you could see clear as day through it, but um, today I wore it with nude underwear and couldn't see a thing, you couldn't even see like panty line, so as long as you wear nude underwear or like a thong, I think you'll be fine in this, but that's gonna happen with anything white. Um, but I'm pretty happy about, you know, trying new things, and like I said, I really love this knot. Draws attention to where you want it to. This one is so pretty. I'm gonna wear it today after I do this. So it's a tie-dye blouse. So it's off the shoulder. Um, you could probably, you know, if you wanted to, kind of place it here and it should stay. And then it has little ties on the arms, but I love tie-dye. And this isn't an in-your-face tie-dye. This is a really subdued, kind of laid-back, kind of 
laid back tie dye, that's a thing. Um, but you know, it's not in your face, it's just more, you know, light and airy and springy. So this I thought was so cute. So like I said, I think I'm gonna wear this one today. Give me tips for strapless bras though, cause I have one, it's just okay. My friend said the butterfly one from Ashley's store is amazing, so I might do that. But if you have any suggestions about strapless bras, let me know. Okay, so this is another kind of off the shoulder thing. Um, so this is just a, you know, plain denim dress, but it has the off the shoulder effect. Um, Torrid has one very similar to this, but this one is way cheaper. So, and they look just the same. So it's just, you know, plain denim dress of this does have pockets. Um, and it just has like a really cute, I really love how the, um, off the shoulder with like, um, what is this called? A flap? I don't know. I, words are escaping me right now. But you know what I'm talking about. Like this effect is just so cute. Okay, so I forgot to haul these, but I love these shorts. So I had them last year in the more plain print. So these are the distressed kind. So these are their roll cuff denim shorts. They are perfect. These don't ride up when you're walking, like none of that, no chub rub. They are the perfect length, so when you're walking, there's no rubbing or anything. They stay where they need to be all day, really comfy, so highly recommend these. The next few things, I just became a Zumba instructor certified, so I just needed a few more um, activewear pieces. So these first things, I saw Hunter McGrady wearing army pants. So I bought army pants. So if you don't know, Hunter McGrady is the um, Sports Illustrated swimsuit model and she's, you know, thick like us. So she had these on and I, I'm not really big on army print, but like they looked really good on her. So um, I'm gonna try it out. I think camo looks good on a lot of people. And I think I've talked about in the past, I don't like like crazy prints for pants. I usually opt for, you know, black with some cutouts or something. Um, so I don't like crazy, like, orange workout pants. They look good on other people, just not my type. Um, but I think these are a cool print, so I'm gonna try them out. There is um, some mesh cutouts on the thigh, and I love me some mesh cutouts. So I'm gonna give these a try. I love my other FDF active pants. They stay, you know, the waistbands are really good. They stay where they need to be. And to go with that, this is like a sweatshirt, but it's not thick. So it's just like a nice little light sweater, sweatshirt. So I got it in this olive green color. They also have black. Um, what I like about this is it has mesh on the shoulders and then mesh on the back. So it is super breathable. And like I said, it's pretty lightweight. So even, you know, if you're not into active, you know, if you just want a light kind of sweatshirt for the spring, this is perfect. I don't know where it is, but I also got a tank top with a big cutout in the back. I have it in orange and I love it. You can wear it to work out. You can wear it to lounge. I wore it to bed last night. So it is like the perfect loose hot day like this kind of tank top. Um, all their activewear is like super discounted. So pick some up now. Okay. Finally. So I know there's like kind of a rift in the plus size community about shapewear. Some people love it. Some people are like, in that like fuck flattering kind of thing. So I just think we can all coexist. Like wearing this isn't gonna trick people into thinking I'm thin. I just kinda wanna create a smoother line. So like I said, we can all coexist, think differently and not poop on the other party. You know, so I did pick up some shapewear. So I mainly bought this to like smooth out some lines in some dresses I have. And I just think they're a good thing to have, especially like for wedding kind of dresses, those kind of like awful fitting dresses. So I wanted one that's like a full body. So this one is shorts and it has the straps. Cause have you ever had the ones that come up to here and then they're rolling down the whole like wedding and it's just really uncomfortable. So I got one with straps, then you kind of like put your boobs out here. So it's gonna hold everything in all the way up and you have the straps to help you have it not ride down. So I ended up picking up some shapewear. Um, again, like I said, I feel like I have to do a PSA, like, we can all get along. You don't need to take a dump on me for buying shapewear. Like I said, I know I'm fat. Everyone else knows I'm fat. Wearing this isn't going to trick them into thinking I'm not. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, that is my haul. I will link anything still available down below. Please use FTF Shannon at FTF.com for some extra savings. Um, also, I want to do a last call for Q and A questions. So leave them down below if you have any, you can literally ask me anything. Um, so I'm gonna film that soon. So I just wanna do a last call for questions. So I think that's it. I'm so sweaty. Like, did, have you seen my hair just get like, ugh. 
throughout the video. Um, gonna turn this fan on next to me. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel. I do plus size fashion videos every Wednesday and then some fun stuff in between. And if you're a loyal follower, thank you so much. Um, so I will see you guys next week. Thank you for watching. Bye.